everyone, it's Emma from Hows here and in this video we will cover how to add the timeline, files and more to the client dashboard. It's important to know that all items must be shared to the dashboard on an individual basis. For example, if you share a single file to the client dashboard, only that single file is shared, nothing else. To check if you have shared items with the client, subcontractor or supplier, you can keep a lookout for coloured icons. We'll get back to this in a minute. Let's first start off with the timeline tool. To access your timeline, select timeline on your left hand bar. And here you'll be able to see your timeline for your project. The first thing we can do in the top left is have a look at your project timelines access. At the moment, we can see three colored icons, which means the timeline is currently shared with everyone. Simply click on share in the top left hand corner and you'll get a pop-up which allows you to control who has access to this tool by default, only your team will be able to access this. However, you can come in and select the drop down and change by granting or revoking access to this tool. Once you've made your updates, just simply click the X on this pop up and you'll be able to see those new updates reflected in the top left hand corner. Now let's go ahead and look at our daily logs. I'm going to open up our left hand bar again and hop down to our daily logs. On the far left, you'll see the list of daily logs that have been created again, just for this project. What you'll be able to do is have a look at the colored icon that belongs to each log, click into each log and in the top right, share or revoke access to each individual daily log. Once you've gone ahead and updated that access, again, you'll know the colors reference change and you'll be able to see who has access or who does not. Keep in mind that if you do have a subcontractor invited to your project, they can have permission to create daily logs. So they'll have access by default to the ones that they've created. Again, just keep a lookout for the colored icons because if the subcontractors created them, you'll see an orange and you'll see a green icon. Next, we'll go to files. As well as granting, as mentioned before, you can revoke access. So what you can do is have a look at a file, click on the three dots and share it. This will allow you again to come in and give or revoke access or change across any file that's been uploaded to your project, to a message or as an attachment to a certain document. When you add a file by default, it will only be shared internally with your team members. Again, to change this, three dots and click on share. Now let's see how this all appears on the client dashboard for the client view. There are all separate tabs within the client dashboard that we can keep a look at to make sure the client can see everything you've granted access to them for. Click on invite in the top right hand corner and select client to see the client view. Here you'll be able to see all of the tabs on the far left, which is a breakdown of your project. You can see the timeline tab. If you haven't shared the timeline tool with your client, they simply won't see the title timeline here. You'll be able to see attachments, which is all of your files that you've granted your client access to, as well as any daily logs. Now you know how to add items to the dashboard, so go ahead, add your timeline, files and daily logs to your client dashboard. It's a really helpful communication tool and presents your business professionally. Thank you for watching.